I tried to write this book in 1976. Uh, I was faced with a whole set of technological issues that looked like I would actually have to get up off my ass and research. <laughs> and a whole bunch of meteorological questions. The dome is 47,000 feet high. And uh, would there be weather under there? Well, I didn't know. I couldn't find anybody that did know, and, which doesn't surprise me. You get the Weather Channel and they tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. It doesn't happen. <laughs> Nobody knows anything. So, and, and I was daunted by the size of the task. So I got about 75 pages in and I stopped. And then I decided to write a, a more focused, tighter book. It was called The Stand. <laughs> to write a long book, but I tried again a couple of years later. Uh, I was in Pittsburgh. I was living in a perfectly awful apartment house while uh, George Romero and I made a movie called Creep Show. And I thought, well, I'm going to try this book again, and I'm going to set it in this apartment building. That, that version was called The Cannibals, so you know where that one was going. <laughs> and then, for a long time, I, I, it just sort of left my mind. But you know, one of the things that I, I tell young writers, they'll say, do you keep a writer's notebook? And I say, absolutely not. A, a notebook is the worst way to immortalize really bad ideas. <laughs> but if you don't write them down, you forget the bad ideas. The good ones stay. And this one stayed, and it came up in my mind while I was on a, a plane ride to Australia, which is one long-ass plane ride. <laughs> and, uh, I had mostly plotted out the book by the time that I got there. I used the same first chapter as that first try. Uh, I had a terrific time writing the book, and when I finished, the manuscript was like this. The, the actual manuscript was 1,600 pages long. Sitting on the counter in my house, my sister-in-law comes in. You know, you always have one annoying relative. <laughs> I mean, they don't mean to be, but they always say that annoying thing. They, it's a talent. It's a gift. And Stephanie is that kind of sister-in-law. She says, don't blog about this, because she's a lovely woman, you know, and she'll read it, she'll feel bad, and she'll say more annoying things. And she comes in. She comes in, and she sees this big pile of manuscript there. And she's a fan, too. She reads my stuff. She says, under the dome, what's that about? And I said, well, Stephanie, it's about a town that's under a dome. And she says, oh, like the Simpsons movie. I go, I didn't know. I mean, I'm supposed to be the popular culture guy. And I didn't fucking know. So... That's, that's what happens. If I'd known, I at least would have had somebody shout it out. <laughs>